What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iOS 10.2, 10.1.1 1 or 10.0 to 10.1.1 on Windows using the new Yalu jailbreak. So um, I already made a video yesterday on a Mac if you want to check it out right here if you're on a Mac and I already showed you how to do that. So if you want to check out the OS X video, it's in the description down below. But as you probably know, look at the Tesco already released the source code of the uh, jailbreak, the Yalu for 10.2, and it's now available on yalu.qwertywoodyup.com, which is actually the official website. And you should not take the IPA from any other website, no matter how appealing it looks like compared to this one. And as you can see, it's, a, it's beta one and it's compatible with, uh, for the moment with 6S, SE and iPad Pro running 10.0, 10.1 or 10.2. So uh, how you do it? You simply need to download the IPA by clicking in here and then you need to navigate to cdimpactor.com. Links are in the description and get the uh, either OS X Windows or Linux variant, but being on Windows, you're going to get the Windows one. And uh, it's pretty simple, it's the exact same thing you need to do on a Mac, but you do it on Windows. And you open CDI Impactor, looks like this, but you need to make sure you have the updated version if you already had CDI Impactor for a while. In, or in order to do that, you click on Impactor and check for updates. As you can see, I do have an update and it's usually better to do update. And you click simply install update, download the file, and you will be good to go. So do not try to run this on an older version of CDA Impactor as it might give you errors, for example, uh, with application grubs and so on. And Thoric, the creator of CDA Impactor, actually fixed a couple of them. Now, what you need to keep in mind about this jailbreak is that the mobile substrate is finally working. You don't have to install any other um, third party fixes or tweaks and so on to fix it. Mobile substrate comes pre-configured and works. Now uh, I'm going to, to take the impactor and show you how to use it. Let me kill this one from here and simply replace it in the folder. This is something you need to do in case you do have the um, older version. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and open it and you will see it actually runs with no problem. Great, now you need to simply connect your iPhone. Make sure your iPhone is unlocked. If you do have a passcode on it, make sure it's unlocked and it's um, actually connected to the uh, USB port or high-speed USB port. And it will show you like this, the uh, device itself. And you need to simply drag the IPA that you downloaded from Look at the Desco's website into here. And it will ask you for your um, Apple ID, username and password, right? So uh, you need to log in with the uh, credentials you use to download applications. And this is just because you need to sign the IPA in order to load it to the uh, device. Keep in mind, side loading only takes uh, seven days of time. So um, after seven days, it will be um, expired. But if you jailbreak, it will probably be okay, right? And after seven days, if you want to use again the application, you will need to side load it again using the computer. Unfortunately, this is a caveat of the last jailbreaks. But yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it and be right. All right, so it will connect automatically to the server and try to sign up the application. If you get this warning, click OK. Now, after installing, you should have the application on your screen. I'm going to show you. Unfortunately, I will not be able to jailbreak this iPhone 6 as it's not compatible for the moment, but I'm going to show you what you need to do anyway. So it's just a simple button press. All right, it says complete. Now let's switch to the device. All right, so I'm back on the device and here, as you can see, it installed the Yalu application and I can open it from here. But unfortunately, this device is an iPhone 6 and it's not compatible. As I said, the devices that are compatible are iPhone 6S, SE, uh, probably 6S Plus and also the iPad Pro for the moment, but this is just a beta one. So it's a beta jailbreak. Now, when you open the application, it looks like this. It says for all iOS 10 up to 10.2 pre iPhone 7. So iPhone 7 is not compatible. You can do it on iPhone 7 though on 10.1.1. Now you just need to press that go button. Unfortunately, I cannot do that because it will simply restart my device and will not jailbreak it because it's not compatible. 
Well, this is how you jailbreak it, by the way. It will simply uh, reboot or probably put it away and will install CD app with mobile substrate, of course. If you don't have the application, or if, if you cannot open the application due to the developer profile, you need to navigate the settings and then change the, um, the profiles. I'm going to show you. Profile and device management. And here you should uh, open your name and click verify. In my case, it says delete app because it's already verified. So this is how you fix that problem if you have it. And this is how you actually jailbreak it. Keep in mind, as I said, it's a beta for the moment, it's beta one. And this means that more devices are bound to come on the um, supported list. So do not worry if your iPhone 6 or 5S are not supported for the moment, they will be supported at the end. So uh, yeah, this is basically it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm going to keep you updated on anything that moves in this jailbreak related stuff. And I'm going to keep you updated when a device is supported. So uh, yeah, be sure to smash that thumb up button if you like the video, if you don't give this video a thumb down and tell me in the comment section down below if you managed to jailbreak your device. Till the next time, I'm Joe Snow, peace out.